go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song to sing. Someone text me. Where my phone? Do you have your motorcycle license? Hell nah, I ain't got no motorcycle license. Good morning, YouTube. It is uh, 8.45. Me, Alex, Toon, Nick. We're about to get a... What are you training, Nick? I'm doing a pull. Pull, we're doing push. This right here is a stretch, dude. You should be doing this like every day. Well, you stand. Yeah, my Today is our push hypertrophy day. We're just looking for high rep sets, keeping the rest time a little low, building up that lactic acid, getting the pump, chasing that pump. I'm thinking we're gonna do dumbbell flat, chest flies, maybe some dumbbell shoulder press, side laterals, and then some tri work. That's it. So today, using the gangster wraps, and yes, I have them a little lower, they're not wrapped around my hands. I don't want to rely on them. I get enough support them being here for my wrists. These are the, what are the lengths of these? 20, 16, the shorter ones. All I remember is 30, I think. Yeah, my have longer ones, I think those are 20s. 20s, I think. Just, just remember they're the shorter ones. I don't necessarily need all the freaking, to wrap around 600 times. Gangster wraps. So one mistake that I think I've been committing the past months is just rushing my warm-up sets. I'll just acclimate up really fast and uh, just not give myself enough time in between each set. And I kind of cut the, the rep short and I actually don't get my, the muscles that I'm trying, I'm training that day warm. I get my nervous system ready because I acclimate to the, to the heavier weight, but I think I've been rushing through. I'm actually gonna, take my time today to warm up and get warm. Um, just get just get warm and primed up. Sonia? That was our last acclimation set. It's time to work now. I think we're gonna go 10 to 12 reps. Three sets. I'm gonna start with the 85s and see how I feel. If I have to go up to match the rep range, then I will. First set, 10 reps. Could have gone 12, but uh, I want to keep the RPE low. I want to hit all my sets and not miss any reps. That's the thing you guys can do to keep your workouts good is have goals when you come into the gym. Whether it's rep ranges, you know, reps, um, rep PRs, completing all your sets, one rep maxes, you know, have goals for that workout and it'll keep you motivated. Third set, we're gonna mix it up, have a little fun, we're gonna do an AMRAP. So, 85, I was able to do it, two sets of 10, probably RPE, I don't know, seven, pretty low. So, goals like maybe 80, uh, 85 for 15.
15. So I could have gone some more, maybe like three, two or three more, but then I would have been at absolute failure and the rest of the workout would have been down the toilet. Tung's down rep set. He's been working with the 80s. You gotta get at least 50, 15. Let's go. Second chest movement. Some cable flies. We're shooting for like 12 to 15. Three sets. All right, next shoulder movement. Or first shoulder movement. Standing single arm press. Nice and light. It's going 12 to 15 reps. With this movement, make sure you're protecting your shoulders. Make sure you're tucking them. You don't wanna be flared out too much. Like this, that hurts me right there. You throw in some weight, it's gonna put some excessive stress on your, your rotator cuffs, your shoulders. and then some rope tricep extension and that is a wrap. So with the lateral raise, I know for a lot of people it's a very awkward movement. It's, it's kind of difficult to get it down and feeling it in your shoulders and less in your arms. My tips are, uh, of course, drive with your elbows, but have a fixed position with your, the angle of your, your elbow and keep your grip loose, just enough to hold the, the bar, right? So keep it loose and then think drive, drive your elbows. You're raising with your elbows and your elbows should be slightly higher than your, your hand. workout good workout so I was checking my snaps and I got a question that is a very common question and I think it's coming from my younger my younger crowd how do I get a bigger chest okay I have I'm proud to say that I have a fairly decent chest and I always have since I started so when I first started all I wanted to do was bench right yeah I bench twice a week just like now but I didn't have the structure that I have now. So I wanted to get stronger. That was my main thing when I first started training, to get stronger. So I was hitting singles, doubles, triples, testing myself, but then I was also chasing the pump. I was a kid, I didn't know, right? I thought when you got the pump, the more pumps you got, the more likely it will stay like that. I didn't know anything about nutrition. So, now that I think about it, chasing that pump, trying to get swollen, thinking that it was gonna stay like that, I was doing a lot of hypertrophy, higher volume stuff. 
but I, I also had a good mix of strength training because I wanted to test my strength all the time. I wanted to get stronger. To get a bigger chest, you want to do a mix of hypertrophy, a good amount, but then you also want to do strength training. You want to make sure you're increasing your strength on your chest pressing so you can, so, so it will lead to repping more weight, repping heavier weight. Okay, so just keep it simple guys. Work on your hypertrophy, chasing the pump, and also work on your strength. You want to get stronger over time. You want to rep more weight over time. That's how you get a bigger chest. So that is it for today's vlog, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you took something from it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. You go, I go, you stay, I stay. One song to sing